in the module that I prepared, um, we both uh, attempt to awaken the voters uh, with respect to their values and also awaken employees of the Comelec. <laughs> yes. This is getting so, interesting. I was yeah. hoping we were going to do this in the second part, but let's get right to it. <laughs> so, yeah. it. It all depends on who makes the module. The important thing is that the goal should be to enable the voters to mature in their manner of selecting the candidates, the, the right candidates. <coughs> and of course, our... Um, our, our goal of honest, orderly, peaceful, and credible elections, you know, this has become a trite mm -hmm. phrase, uh, remains to be our goals. So we fit our module uh, to achieve such <coughs> goals. And we see that there are elements in this. We have the voter, we also have the Comelec. We educate the voters, we also educate ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we're going to have to take a short break. We hope you've been enjoying exactly where we're going. When we come back, we're going to go to intricate de details on how this whole thing does work and what we can expect. Obviously, there's a lot of understanding that needs to be, well, talked about, analyzed. Because iba iba po ano ang situation po natin. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, we're back. My name is Harry Tumbotka. You're watching Politics Today. Our topic, Barangay Elections. We're going to have it in about one week with us in the, in the studio. We have from Lente, that stands for Legal Network for Truthful Election. You know, i got to say that uh, tuloy, tuloy. We have, a uh, there is, uh, we have attorney Sara Sugitan with us from the COMELEC, the Commission on Elections. We've got attorney uh, Ferdinand Rafanan and from the PPCRV Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting. Alam mo? Sanay na, sanay na ako sa mga, mga letters, letters tayo sa Pilipinas. Eh, no? Nakakalito na. We have Brother Clifford Surita. Let's go back to the Kamala quickly. Are you ready with all the issues coming out? Last week, you came out with a report on the broadsheets. Sinasabi mo, tigil lang nga natin itong mga election paraphernalia, putting it in one place, hindi naman nasusunod, napapahiya lang kami. Tama nga naman. But are we going to allow, or sa bagay, wala ka namang control, no? Pagdating sa election spending, election paraphernalia, etc. You know, um... <coughs> That was just my personal opinion. Uh, it said that in yeah. the paper. It is not an opinion of the commission. In the NBANK. Oh, not, <laughs> oh, not of the NBANK. Uh, maybe they have not been asked about it. I was asked about it, so I gave my personal opinion. I see that the law on common poster areas has not been effective. It has rather been used as a tool <coughs> to mark the COMELEC. Uh, it has been used to <coughs> taunt us and tell us we are not able to do anything. We say this, we say that, <coughs> but uh, the practice is different. And I have attempted myself to enforce it, you know, as regional <coughs> election director of the National Capital Region before, and now as head of the law department, I see that uh, the enforcement has not been effective. Um, a complainant uh, files a complaint, we investigate it, the complainant does not appear. Uh, he does not produce the evidence, or he settles with the <coughs> respondent, then there is no <coughs> case. <coughs> yeah, you, you get a picture, but is that enough? Who really put it there? You cannot link the <coughs> candidate whose face appears <coughs> in the campaign paraphernalia. And then we remove so we, we go out and simply remove it w without saying anything, just remove it because this is illegally posted. Correct. And then uh, as soon as you leave, May na naman. yes, other company paraphernalia are posted there. They, they, they are hanging, <coughs> you know, without the people uh, cooperating, without the candidates cooperating. This could only continue to mark the COMELEC. 
So I say that this is not administratively feasible. We might as well scrap this law. But the COMELEC has to be evolving nonstop. You cannot stay static. I guess it's a <coughs> learning curve, a learning process, like the PPCRV are saying. Nonstop, it's learning from the people, which you said. It's the voters to the COMELEC and the COMELEC to the voters. Both ways, everybody's growing, and you have amendments and changes to improve each other as you go along. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it should also be a uh, reassessment of our values. As, as a people, you know, if our lawmakers are the ones who also violate the law, if they come up with a law that cannot be obeyed even by themselves, how can Comelec enforce it? I, I mean, uh, if the one who makes the law finds it easy to mm. violate it, how can we expect Comelec <coughs> to enforce it? Lentec. Mm -hmm. Tama ba yan? Nasusundan ba? Na, nasusundan niya yun? Mm -hmm. kaya, ba, kaya ba i control yung ganun? Mm -hmm. and uh, Obviously, this is a situation where civil society is much needed by the COMELEC in enforcing the laws. But not only enforcement is the problem, there's also electoral reform in terms of updating our laws to make it more in sync with the times. Now it's, uh, well, people go around the laws because it's already outdated. You, out, you have a 3 peso per voter allocation. That's no longer in keeping up with the times. Three peso per voter, that's how much you spend for photocopying your flyers, for example. A flyer would cost you 50 cents. So if you, I mean, and then you put up your posters, etc. So these values were based on a time when it was still feasible to be spending three pesos, and that's a lot per voter. We don't have enough common reform. We're not doing it fast enough, Ernie. Is that the problem? Well, concerning uh, campaign finance, we have been able to do a little thing, mm -hmm. but uh, compared to You're smiling, what? <laughs> yeah, it's a milestone. Uh, I, I, I said it's a milestone because <coughs> although it's a little thing compared to what was done in the past, uh, it is something. Example, you know, in 2008, as soon as I assumed the position of um, director of the law department, we gathered a database from all the election officers, provincial election supervisors, and regional election directors throughout the Philippines. Database consisting of uh, the names of candidates <coughs> who run for various positions, and the names of the candidates who filed their mm -hmm. statement of contributions and expenditures. So over the years, from 1998 up to 2010, as of May 10, 2010, so o over so many elections, uh, why? What's the significance of this? You know, under the law, failure to file a statement of contributions and expenditures would cost you a penalty of a fine from 1,000 pesos to 30,000 pesos for the first offense. Second time, the penalty would range from 2,000 pesos up to 60,000 pesos uh, plus mm -hmm. disqualification. Yeah. So, you know, we are starting to <coughs> uh, the fruits of our efforts because uh, since last year up to this year, uh, so many are being penalized by the Commission and Bank upon our recommendation with fines and with disqualifications. You know, all that that's happening, um, it's interesting, it's being heard now on TV. We don't seem to get enough news about that, the successes of the COMELEC when it comes to reforms and effective uh, election management. Hindi natin na ba Bakit ang naririnig natin ay parating yung mga uh, mga nagkakamali sa COMELEC, baliktad. Na, yan pala, marami palang effects sinasabi mo. Well, uh, th this is just one. Th this is one. And uh, I hope it will be appreciated by, by the COMELEC. It is being appreciated by, uh, what, what is this group? IFES. Mm -hmm. And by Perat Politica, because they are also into it. Okay. Yes, uh, campaign finance. So th this is an effort over the past uh, two years, and it's bearing fruits. Y you know, this actually, it, it could be called a milestone, mm -hmm. but we are still at the superficial level. We are not yet de able to determine whether they have spent within the limits. We are only determining yet who complied with the requirement to file a statement of why are we so slow in this reform and why can't we just jump the gun and find out? Information's not available. It's too difficult or not enough lawyers. Uh, why the reform is not fast enough to 
Well, there are two things there. 